BSc 2009, uh, 26 and 27. Typical student at the Delhi School of Economics has the utility function, where X is books, Y is movies. Okay. Now, since this is a Cobb Douglas, expenditure on X by expenditure on Y will be in the ratio one by five by four by four. Basically, in the ratio one is to four. Okay. Expenditure on X divided by expenditure on Y will be in the ratio one is to four. Okay. Price of the book is fifty. Price of the movies is ten. Okay. Scheme one. The entire problem hinges on the ability of the student. to draw the budget line now if you are able to draw the budget line problem over as uh, simple as that okay <clears throat> let's take x as the number of books y as the number of movies okay so 250 is the book grant since books are a good commodity He will be spending the entire two fifty on the books, correct? So the remaining seven fifty has to be spent on. If X is the number of books bought, how many books will be bought out of the seven fifty? X minus five books. Supposing my book consumption is seven. Five books I have already bought from the book grant. How many more books am I buying from the scholarship? Only two more books. So x minus five, where x is equal to the entire consumption of books. If x is the entire consumption of books, out of my fellowship, I will be spending on x minus five books. Say I uh, say I buy uh, seven books. Entirely, okay. Out of the seven, only two books I am actually spending uh, from the fellowship grant, right? From the seven fifty rupees fellowship grant, okay. So from seven uh, fifty, I am only spending on X minus five books. Five books are already bought from the book grant, plus ten Y. Okay. If I rearrange, I get one thousand is equal to fifty x plus ten y. Get the same thing, but x has to be greater than equal to five. X cannot be less than five. Not possible because I have already spent my two fifty on the book grant. So x has to be greater than equal to five. So this is the budget line equation. Now, how to put it in the graph? Let's take a look at that. Okay. Till now, absolutely clear. Okay. So now, how will the budget line look? Suppose this is my y, this is my x. Okay. The usual case would have been. One thousand is equal to fifty x plus ten y. So this is the usual budget line, but there is a restriction on our particular budget line. Our particular budget line needs x uh, uh, x to be greater than equal to five. Okay. So for our particular budget line, it won't be like this. It will start from five. This is the budget line, right? This is the budget line. It's a truncated budget line. It doesn't have this below part because x has to be greater than equal to five. There is a restriction. So it's the usual budget line. Only the upper part vanishes. Okay. Now we have seen that the expenditure on x and y has to be in the ratio 
one is to four. So out of the one thousand, if I say my budget line was basically this, right? Out of the one thousand, two hundred will be spent on the books and eight hundred on the movies. That's not possible. but that is the optimal according to the utility function the utility function that i had told us expenditure on x by x by expenditure on y is in the ratio 1 is to 4 that is what it told us so i divide the entire money income into five parts one part will go to x four parts will go to y so one part which goes to x is only 200 and four parts which goes to y is 80 you know 800 so 80 movies and four books but that part of the budget line is not there so ideally the indifference curve would have been tangential to a point which is 4 but that part of the budget line is not there so it will move to a lower indifference curve Such that it exactly just cuts this point because the budget line is not there. Okay, so what is the answer? Five comma seventy five. The next best alternative. Please understand, it's not tangential at that point. The utility is not. tangential to the budget line at that point it's only the best point given the budget line is this okay theek hai now look at scheme 2 i spend on the books how much do i spend on the movie i buy y movies out of that i have to spend on only y minus x because x i get free if i buy 10 books i get 10 movies free so if i watch uh, 40 movies i have to pay for only 30 correct so the budget line becomes 40x plus 10y you can also think about it in this way if i pay 50 rupees i get a book and a movie worth 10 rupees free so you subtract this 10 rupees here to get the net price of the book that's 40x okay you can think about it in any way this is the budget line and given this budget line you just have to find out the uh, solution so again the same thing 1000 has to be divided into five parts one part has to go to the books so 200 will be spent on the books how many books will i buy five books and 800 will be spent on the movies how many movies 80 theek hai basically i buy five books and i buy 75 movies but i get five movies free so my consumption becomes 80 okay 